It's that time of the year again where the South African International Ballet Competition is in session. I'm joined in studio by Dirk Badenhorst, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the upcoming competition. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about the competition? I do understand that it happens um, every two years. What can we look forward to this year? Well, it started off by the fact that I have been traveling around the world for many years, seeing some of the best dancers, best teachers. And I was thinking of a way of showcasing those dances to South Africans, but then also inspiring South Africans to start working harder in their training. And so in 2008, we hosted the inaugural South African International Ballet Competition, and it has gone now in its fifth one. So it's a big event where we bring dancers from around the world, judges from around the world, judges representing some of the biggest companies and schools from around the world. So the, the 2016 panel of judges will include Brigitte Lefebvre, the former artistic director of the Paris Opera, one of the world's oldest and biggest ballet companies, Julio Boca, world ballet star, and now the artistic director of the Uruguay Ballet, but born in Argentina, Oliver Matz, who is the director of the Zurich Dance Academy, but he was a camera dancer in Germany, uh, Mi Song Cho from Korea, who is the director of the Korean Ballet Stars. Uh, we have Elizabeth Trichard from Cape Town, so our own South African. I always have a South African judge on the panel. Sure. We have Irina Kosleva, who is the director of the New York International Ballet Competition, but she was a star with the Bolshoi Ballet, and then she defected to America, and she became a star with the New York uh, City Ballet. And then we have Caroline Jura, who is a ballet mistress of the Dutch National. And the value of these different judges is that they see dancers from South Africa and from around the world, and they are able to offer them jobs, offer them scholarships to schools. So, for instance, in the 2014 competition, one of the dancers was offered a contract with the Dutch National, and she's still with the Dutch National Ballet. A former gold medal winner from the International Ballet Competition is now also a soloist with Dutch National Ballet. We have Andila and Lov, South African, who was offered originally a scholarship to the Washington Ballet and is now a dancer with the Washington Ballet. Boise de Corbe was offered a scholarship to go to Washington and then became a star with the Trocaderos. Mm -hmm. um, and we had two dancers last time that were offered scholarships to the Alvin Ailey School. Mm -hmm. So these are really, really important aspects of the competition. It's a wonderful way of inspiring young South African talent, as we have spoken before. And originally, the, the teachers in South Africa were quite intimidated by the level of the dancers from overseas. Okay. And after discussing with them and after encouraging them, we now, after the seventh year of the competition being running, can truly see the level of South African dance training reaching international standards. So that is really the impact of the competition. And I am very pleased to see that. And the judges are really trying so hard to give back to South Africa and to work with South Africans. And it's great to see the level of South African entrances here, but for this year also we have uh, 19 dancers from the young Korean ballet stars. So they are incredible. They are 12, 13, 14 years old. They do the most incredible things that you can think wow. of. Their costumes are exquisite, uh, shiny, gorgeous, beautiful. And you can't believe that these kids are 12, 13, and 14 mm -hmm. years old. Um, we have entries from Azerbaijan. We have entries from Cuba, from America, from Italy, from Brazil, from Latvia. So it really is an incredible coming together of super talent. And then we have half of the entries of the 70 entries will be from South Africa. So right. it's a wonderful showcase also for the South African directors because the directors of both South African companies will travel to Cape Town and watch the competition. And they are able to then see if there are any of these dancers they, they would like to hire for their companies because mm -hmm. as I mentioned, the level is incredible. Yeah. And it's a wonderful coming together of South African dancers from all over South African cities and a celebration of ballet and dance in South Africa and then in the mother city. And we are very fortunate that the city of Cape Town is, is contributing to the success of the competition with, the, with financial support for us. They are one of our major sponsors. Uh, Artscape Theatre is incredible. Marlene LaRue, the new CEO of the yes. Artscape uh, Complex, has been incredible in the support that she has given for the competition. And we have a wonderful team of South African volunteers, and if there are people that are interested in volunteering, they're welcome to contact us um, to assist. But we also have a wonderful team that is helping me put together such a competition. Um, I'm the lucky one. I get to travel the world to go and mm. recruit. I've just been to Europe, to Cuba, and to, to Peru to look for competitors. 
And it's great to see these countries. Um, when I was in Norway, they've never heard of, of the competition, so they are sending some entries. So it's really great to see the interest in and out of South Africa for our competition. Absolutely.